Hello and welcome to Get In Tune. I'm Michael Gracia and today we're going to do some very simple cartooning. Um, and I'm going to be drawing on my computer and I'll zoom in on the screen a little bit more for you. And let me talk about the supplies first. Now even though I'm drawing on my computer, supplies are easy. Pencil, paper, an eraser, and a pencil sharpener. You don't need anything more than that. Everything I'm going to do on the computer you could do with a pencil and paper. So let's begin. Now, if you guys can draw something as simple as a circle, which that's not the best circle, but it's not bad. And your circle doesn't have to be perfect either. None of these shapes have to be perfect that I'm going to draw. They just got to look like the shape. So here, that's supposed to be a square. And here's a triangle. And here's a rectangle. These are the four shapes I'm going to use. If you can also draw some wavy lines, curves, maybe some dots, maybe the letter C or the letter L, you can draw cartoon characters. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to demonstrate how if I take, we'll start with the circle, right? I take a circle and that becomes my character's head and what if I put a circle inside here and a circle inside here and then I put in a couple of dots I'm gonna use some curved lines for the eyebrows so you see we've got the eyes and the eyebrows now what about the nose I like that letter C up there so I'm gonna use the letter C and I want to give him a silly smile. So that wavy line I made, I'm going to just do it like this. And for his ears, I'm going to split a circle in half. I'm going to put one on this half and one on this half. All right. And it's okay if it goes over the lines like mine, but I'm just going to fix it for now. All right. I'm going to fix that one more time. And this is where your eraser comes in handy. Okay. Now, I think it would be funny if he has kind of silly hair. So I'm going to give him some wavy lines for hair. Okay. For his body, I want to use that rectangle. So I'm going to use a rectangle. And for his legs, I'm going to use another rectangle. And then I'm going to put a line in the middle. I'm not going all the way to the top but I'm leaving it in there. Now, the feet, I'm going to take that circle and I'm going to squash it. So if I squash a circle, it looks like that. And we call that an oval. So I'm going to take an oval and use it for his feet. Now, for his arms, I'm going to use a triangle right here on one side. Actually, I'm going to erase that and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I like to make it a little bigger. And I'm going to use a curved line and it looks like his hand is down, right? The next thing I want to do is I want to move this hand, this arm up like he's waving to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this oval so it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to redraw the oval to the side so you know what an oval looks like. And we can even do an oval like that if you wanted to, which is kind of similar to how I drew his eyes. Now, instead of making the rectangle with straight lines, I'm going to curve the lines. So it's a curvy rectangle. And then I'm going to draw a circle right on top. Now, this is his hand, that circle. And let me zoom in on the hand so you can see what I'm going to do now. So, where's the, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another oval shape, but I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to stop when I hit that line. Let's move it over a little bit more. And then I'm going to draw an oval up here. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And if you want to keep it cartoony with, three, with, with the four fingers, you can, or you can add the fourth. Now what I like to do is take my eraser and erase the space where the thumb connects. And not a lot 
of space here. All right. The reason is um, this is the palm, this line right here that I just made for the fingers of the palm. It's where your fingers attach to the palm. The only thing I'm going to add now is a little curved line like that. That's the little squishy, fatty part of your thumb when you when you make a fist or when you just bring your thumb in. All right. And if I zoom out, we can see his hand up there. So I'm going to put two curved lines on each side. And that makes it look like he's weaving. Now, the next thing we got to do is, he already looks like he's wearing clothes, right? But let's zoom in a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to put a V right there. So it looks like he has a V-neck shirt, like a, a long sleeve shirt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another V here and another V here. So it now looks like he's wearing a collared shirt. And we can add a couple of dots to make it look like he's got buttons going down. We could draw kind of a line right here on both sides and make it look like he's he's got a pocket on his shirt. Another thing we can do is we can draw another line here. We put a couple of lines and we got a belt on him. Now we're gonna do about a few more things. Three, maybe. So we're going to draw two lines right here at the at, by the by the bottom of where the hand, well, on top of the hands. And this is the, the shirt. This is the cuff. I'm going to put two dots on each side. That's the button that holds the cuffs together. The next thing I want to do is I want to color in his pants. You don't have to color them in 100%. All over, just color them in a bit. And then I'm going to color a few lines like so to create belt loops. And there's a guy waving, dressed up in a nice button-down shirt. Now let's do a girl. All right. I'm going to move the girl over here. I'm going to start the girl the same way with the head. A circle. I'm going to put two circles in for the eyes. And some eyelashes, which are just three lines. You can do two if you want. All right. Now, that letter C that I made earlier, I'm going to take that letter C. I'm going to make it small and turn it on its side like that. And that gives her this cute little, like, button nose. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a little smile. All right. And then we're going to add, like, lips so she can put that, have lipstick on or something. So we're going to add a little curved line at the bottom there. And I'm going to add a little curved line here with a dip. And then another one like that. Okay? Don't forget to give her eyebrows. And then I'm going to add half circles for her ears. And after I add the half circle for the ears, I'm going to draw a loop and a loop. Okay. I'm not going to do her hair yet because I want to finish the body. And what I'm going to do for the body is I'm going to put a little rectangle there for her neck. And then I'm going to come out. I'm going to create this triangular shape, but I'm not going to finish it. If you finish it, it would be a triangle. Then I'm going to do two lines out, almost like I'm making another triangle. But instead of going straight, I'm going to create the letter V. Okay. And for her legs, I'm going to use a triangle on each side. And then I'm going to use triangles over here. I think her head's a little big for this character, but that's okay right now. And then for her arms, I'm going to curve. Actually, I don't like that curve. This is why we have erasers. I'm going to curve her arm down like this and put a little circle. And then I'm going to have this one out like so, and then up. And I'm going to have her waving too, so I'm going to have a little oval there. 
right? Now, let's give her some hair. Now, we can give her long hair by just creating some lines. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a uh, part in the middle, and I'm going to keep it, like, shoulder length. So I'm putting two curved lines down, like so. And then I go up a little bit. If you cover the ear, that's fine. Don't worry about it. If you don't want to have the ears because you know you're going to cover with hair, don't draw the ears. I'm going to just use a few lines. I'm not drawing every single strand, just enough to suggest that there's hair there. And I'll do a few lines in the back. Right? And now let's, we'll do the hands after, but let's, let's do some, um, some clothing on her at the moment. So for here, I want to do some erasing. I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to erase where her neck is. I'm going to erase where the arms are. I'm going to erase where the hips, the part of the hips here. Okay. And the reason I did that is because now I'm going to put her in a short sleeve shirt. And I wanted that space open. Same thing here. And I gave him a V. So let's give her a U. The letter U. So it's a curved line. Like she's wearing just a standard crew neck shirt. And then because some of the shirts may be on top of the hips. Like so. And I'm just giving a little bit more defined I'll draw a line right there, and I can color in her shirt. And I'm doing with pencil now. If you want to hold off and wait and color them in with crayon when you're done, that's perfectly fine, or colored pencils. You can even use markers. Um, I prefer colored pencils, though, or crayons. And then down here, let's just draw some lines, right, to show where the bottom of the pants are. And then I'm going to color a little bit over here to make it look like she's got her shoes on and these are that's some skin to her ankles there and we could even draw a line down like where the, the zipper would be and we could put a couple of lines in for pockets now let's just do her hands really quickly so I'm going to zoom in so you can see the hands and on here I'm just going to draw these curved lines that kind of come down like I'm making a triangle and I want to take my eraser and erase parts I don't need. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side now. And we got this is going to look the same. So instead of making that 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 oval, we're just kind of making a curved triangle and I'm going to add that bump in right there. And then I'm going to do curved lines one, two, so we got two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. And let's erase the areas we don't need, just like on the other one. And we add a couple of curved lines here and a couple of curved lines there. And now you've drawn a man and a woman. So if you practice your shapes and your lines, you can create anything. All right, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.